Hello and welcome to another episode of Gyromont Plays Into the Gungeon. Alright, so I am thinking we we kind of have been getting away with a little bit of cheating, in my opinion. Uh, someone someone more experienced with Gungeon is probably going to call me out uh, and say that we've been kind of like uh, experiencing boss rush in a an easier form form <laughs> so I'm gonna switch to the paradox instead of the gunslinger the gunslinger is um, admittedly one of the most OP characters in the whole entire game um, by design you know he's easy, easy mode he essentially gives you the synergies of guns uh, if you didn't know <clears throat> um, I think by random but yeah essentially he makes the guns you pick up infinitely stronger than they actually you know typically would be so <laughs> let's uh let's try with paradox which is admittedly a little easier than the other characters still but also uh just in general a little bit more fun so the reason we turned off turbo mode we don't need to do it anymore you know maybe if we get good enough on this as well If this becomes a little bit too easy as uh, 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 beating boss rush with paradox, mm -hmm, that that bites. That bites. We were five shots away. All right, what do we get first? A banana slap in the face. Okay. You ever get you ever get smacked in the face with a banana? It does not feel good. I'm saying that like I have. Which is not the case, I don't think. If it, if I have, I don't remember it. I feel like that's something you would remember, though. The shame that in, uh, ensues. Uh, uh. Okay. So you might be asking, are, are we just going to get boss rush runs uh, from this point on? Honestly, I've been debating that very same question internally. You know, the 45 minute runs, while fun, are kind of long to spend a recording session on. And it's it's kind of a, it's it's a little bit beside the point from, uh, <laughs> rolled into that bullet. Why are we against using our blanks? All right, we're gonna use our blanks during the, the king fight for sure. The king bullet fight. We need to get the flawless and get the extra heart. Gungeon Ant, nah. Oh. Hold on. We got the rockets. Okay. Nope. Nobody from Houston here. Do I even have relatives in Houston? I don't. I don't. I don't know anybody in Houston. You might. I think I have friends that, uh, that have relatives in Houston. That's why I thought of that, uh... Holy screen shake! Not a fan of that, to be honest. But I like the rockets that we're getting from this uh, from this Gungeon Ant. All right, enough with the play-by-play. -play. I think we've got some OP stuff going on. How are you doing? How am I doing? No, I asked you first, man. <laughs> so leave a leave a comment below and uh, tell me how you are. I don't know what day the, the, these videos are coming out anymore. I I used to keep track, but I feel like. The uh, the more the less I keep track, the the more the backlog is, which means the better my sanity is probably, <laughs> and the better the the content's gonna be ultimately because I am in less of a rush creating them. Uh, so that's that's part of the our, uh, the part of the conversation that I feel like is is um with the with the boss rush runs, I feel like they're pretty close in entertainment factor but like in a shorter form form um no you know it's a little it's like trimming the fat but i know uh, some people might be missing the 45 minute podcast style as well uh we'll, we'll be i'm i'm pretty sure the the best 
resolution of their of the mall is just to kind of flip back and forth. You know, we do a 40 minute run, we do a 20 minute run. That's one hour of my time. I feel like that's that's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> one hour of my time, one hour of your time. Well, technically, 40 minutes one day, and then 20 minutes the other day. I feel like that's a good trade-off, right? You know, a lot of people probably aren't even watching these all, like, when they come out. I'm not, like, that famous of a YouTuber. <laughs> and by not that famous, I'm over on my Discord asking for some pity views. Nah, I mean, I mean okay, so it, it sounds like that, yes. But it's 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 more of like a hey, these exist. <laughs> Please watch them if you feel like uh, they're worth keeping alive. Okay, uh, we're we're let's not get distraught about this. We're gonna have a chance to get our our chamber round from the gore gun. Perfectly fine. Perfectly balanced as all things should be, etc., etc. Okay, let me grab this uh, this ammo. I like this gun, Janant, though. Um, it, it's an explosive round, but it doesn't force the it doesn't delete the bullets, which kind of makes it feel more fair in a strange way. I do want to turn off screen shake though. As soon as we flawless this guy or lady. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh gameplay. Screen shake is insane. It's hurting my eyes a little bit. Hopefully it's not hurting your eyes too much, but it, I'm I'm sitting in the dark. It's one of the benefits of uh streaming slash recording without a um, without a camera, and you can sit in the dark and just uh, just relax, sit back, and sit back, relax, relax, and all cool. Just sit, shoot some b-ball outside of the school. What's the crisis stone do? We just unlocked that. Hold on. Provides invulnerability when reloading an empty clip, dude. That means the longer reload times are actually beneficial. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so third round, we got three more levels to go. Oh man. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, how am I doing? It's the it's the end of a Sunday night. It's a little bit bittersweet. Uh I I can't say that weekends are Wait, it is the deleting bullets, isn't it? That last one just did. It's like one of the rockets do. But yeah, it's a little bit bittersweet because the weekend was super busy. So it doesn't really matter much, uh, like going back to work and uh, having to be busy there as well. You know, just life as an adult, you don't really get like a, a moment to yourself that much. Until you're, you know, recording a video of Gungeon. <laughs> that's what. I, that's why these are like. That's part of the reason why these are still going. Is because I, I, I kind of need them for my, uh, my own sanity. Not that I have that, you know, ridiculous of a life. Or like people are that insane in my, in my daily uh, processes. But like, I don't know, it just helps. I like that barricade though. Okay, I don't know which which of these guns works best with that. Hold on, let me try the banana real quick. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, uh, yeah. We're fine. We're being dramatic for, for the video. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, last time I played uh, 
We we did a Jackbox game recently with uh, with people that I have never. Uh, they, they've never experienced me streaming or like my my um my stage persona, I guess is is what you could call it. It's not too different from myself, I promise. But they were just like, "Why are you like a cartoon character?" And it it's it's one of those things. I've already brought up brought this up on another episode, and it's just it's. <laughs> It's, it, I don't know if they like they they can't trust me anymore in real life. <laughs> oh wow, that was beautiful. But it makes you think. It makes you. It makes me personally think. Like, am I coming off? You know, like as as a as a different person, like as someone with split personalities, like schizophrenia style. I don't. I don't know. Like. I feel like it's always been in my personality to, to have like a like a stage presence and like when I get off stage I'm just like I right, leave me alone. <laughs> I feel like that's the beauty of um of this particular I okay, I, I I don't think you can call what I'm doing currently a job. But like if this became a job, it, it's kinda of the beauty of the of the uh, of the role. It's like you can. Oh, I I got mind flooded. Is that you can fuse the? Hold on, hold on, hold that thought. You can indulge in your introvertedness while still performing a ton. Because people are just watching, uh, watching your stuff that are pre-recorded. I like it. I like it a lot. Hopefully, uh, it happens at some point. And um, it's not really the best way to think about it, honestly. Because what happens? What? What are you? What am I waiting for? <laughs> I, I should be putting out the best stuff that I can make currently. I feel like I am. You know, with the time that I have, and I hate using that excuse. Because, uh, I mean, honestly, like, if I really needed to grow my channel, and that's, that's a, that's a first world phrasing, if, uh, if I've ever heard it, <laughs> if I've ever heard a first world problem phrasing ever, if I ever needed to grow my, my, uh, online presence, it's definitely, like, if I had... All the time in the world, it would be on Twitch. Because all you need is 10 plus viewers, and then you're 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 coasting like, you know, depending on what game you're playing, you're coasting on the on the closer to the top scale. You know, it's, it's one of those things that uh, the rich get richer on uh, on a platform like Twitch, whereas on YouTube, it's just like you're you're kind of relying on showing up on somebody's up next. <laughs> somebody's recommended videos feed <clears throat> it's also about like growing relationships etc etc but that's again not not something that's uh, that an introvert is very good at <laughs> that's a horrible excuse yes but you know it's one that I'm not ashamed of I guess all right go oh ooh, ah, ee, ah, ooh, ah. You have to be careful claiming the introverted uh, label as well. Because a lot of people do see showmanship as like being extroverted. You know, uh, somebody extremely popular, especially in the PlayStation fan base, Greg Miller, recently posted something about. Uh, I, I think he was wearing a shirt that said like I'm an introvert, but I will talk to you about video games non-stop or something like that <laughs> And that's, that's, a, that's kind of like a cute way of putting it He's only an extrovert if you're talking about the topic that he's interested in which at that point are you are you really an introvert or are you a 
Like, uh, you're socially selective. <laughs> I guess you can be both. I'm not really about this High Priest. You guys already know my, my thoughts about this High Priest. His moves are about as cheap as the liquor that's going to make you bent over that toilet in the morning. Alright, there we go. If you don't know what that means, ask your parents. It's just bottom shelf. I actually don't know what that means either. I've heard I've heard my wife say it, so I trust her. <laughs> Should I be using the banana? I probably not. Let's see. Let's go with the mass shotgun here. Okay, nothing's working. Maybe the loot. Nope, let's we'll blank that. We we cornered ourselves. Oh, if you hold down the trigger, it plays a nice little uh, little jam, little jingle. Okay, we're trying to get the flawless here. Let's stop messing around. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, they're doing the walk. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I tried to blank. There's no blanking. There's no blanking way. <laughs> I was talking about YouTube demonetization. Or as I... Uh, as... Funnily, I guess, comedically put... Uh, by by a, a favorite of my Northern Lion, he he says, um, demonetization. <laughs> Careful, you might get demonetized. I like it because <laughs> it, it 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 attributes that uh, or what's the word? Att attributes. English is weird, man. You just gotta say a word differently, and then it turns into a verb instead of an adjective. It attributes like a uh, evil spirits. To what YouTube is doing with the uh, with the algorithms, <laughs> but yeah, it don't want to get demonetized. Oh, that's a lot of uh, invincibility time. Look at that. It, it didn't seem like it worked, and we don't have much else to go with. Let's go with the AK here. We're not really going for the flawless. Let's be honest with ourselves. There's not much we can do though in terms of uh, in terms of doing more damage here though. Yeah, this this mass shotgun might be their, our best bet. You know, our best bet might be dodging as much as we can. <laughs> as sad as it seems. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. AK. Hold down the trigger and focus on dodging. I like it. I like it. I like the strats. boy you know honestly after playing in turbo mode this is like this is nothing <laughs> we don't have the synergies that we had with uh with the gunslinger for sure but this is easy peasy as i get hit yep i, I knew it 
you're gonna be like, wow, he did he call that one? Or is there is there like a voice delay? I called it. 100% called it. I was like, all right, my hubris is gonna mess me up right now. Yep, there it is. All right, let's go back to the mass shotgun. So first of all, this gun is doing the most damage for sure. But second of all, every single reload gives me invincibility frames. Due to the crisis stone. One of the uh, one of the many stones in the infinity gauntlet. You can bet that in, if Infinity War came out There we go. This is the distance here. They would have some sort of Infinity Gauntlet reference in here. Wait, do they have one? Hold on. Now I'm thinking. Because... Technically speaking, the last update came out this year. Infinity War came out last year. They might have a Infinity War reference. I, you know, if you're, if you're a Gungeon Savant, Please let me know in the comments, or in the Discord, etc., etc., on Twitter. Reply to me so I don't just get memes on my Twitter whenever I turn that on. All right, let's go. Let's go. That was good stuff. They told me that it could not be done with paradox. They told me. That uh, if I switched from anyone but the gunslinger, I couldn't do it. But here we are. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to watch future episodes, hit that sub button. I appreciate it very much. Uh, any support will um, will go towards feeding my ego and creating more videos. Thank you, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Peace.